You know, we often talk about our physical health, but what about our mental health? The pandemic bringing more attention to that conversation. And unfortunately, the number of Oklahomans struggling with stress and mental health has really gone up. We have Terry White with us. Terry is the CEO of the Mental Health Association of Oklahoma, and she's here. And Terry, it's good to see you again. We had you on Flashpoint a few times, and now here with you at 430. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, and thank you for talking about this important topic. Yes, ma'am. Tell us about the organization and the resource it provides. Sure. I'm now the CEO of Mental Health Association Oklahoma. Mental Health Association Oklahoma is the state's premier boots on the ground that exists with the expertise at the intersection of homelessness and mental illness. So we cultivate healthy minds through advocacy, education, service, and housing. We have numerous programs designed to address mental health, homelessness, suicide prevention, and criminal justice reform. Uh, and Terry, the pandemic has brought many uncertainties regarding employment, finances, school. How can someone identify if these issues are impacting their mental health? Because a lot of people just have a tendency to bury it and just keep the nose to the grindstone without ever dealing with the emotional aspects of it. I think that's such an important question. One of the things that I share with folks is that one of the most important things you can do if you or someone that you care about is struggling, there are free evidence-based screening tools, not a full assessment. You would go to see your healthcare professional for that, but a screening tool available on our website, which is www.mhaok. Dot org. And you can go on and take a screening. That screening will alert you if there's things you might want to talk to your health care provider about. Or it'll let you know that this might be a stressful time, but they, that the screening isn't seeing something that causes concern. And I think that's the most important piece. These screenings are free and confidential. We don't see the results. We have it set up specifically so your viewers and other Oklahomans can have access to this free evidence-based resource to check in with themselves or about their family. I want to go a little bit off script here because we could talk about the data behind this, but also I want to know what are the warning signs, uh, how we can help someone who is mentally unhealthy? What are the warning signs other people should be looking for? I think that's a great question. A lot of times, people are experiencing stress and we all have different levels of cope in our cup, if you will. So while we might all be experiencing stress, for some of it, we just have a little bit less cope. And so when you see someone who might be pulling away, when they talk about being a burden to others, when they talk, when you see changing behaviors, such as no longer participating in things that they often participated in, or talking about that people might be better off without them. Those are all warning signs for suicide. And for anyone who's watching, we've been doing a lot of training recently actually with businesses. We've had several Oklahoma businesses reach out to us and say, we're concerned about the mental health of our workforce. This has been a stressful year and a half. Uh -huh. And so we're offering free evidence-based training to workplaces across the state and congregations and other things in suicide warning signs and what to do most importantly, which is call 211, the statewide suicide hotline at answer 24 hours a day, seven days a week, if you're worried about yourself or a loved one. We wanna have you back on because we wanna talk about the Better Way program too. Unfortunately, a window of opportunity is closed right now, but really appreciate you very much for coming on and addressing these issues and it's good to see you again. Happy to be there for you guys. Reach out anytime. Thank you. If you or anyone you know is struggling with mental health, call the Mental Health Association of Oklahoma at 405-943-3700 or visit mhaok.org. Our thanks to Terry White for joining us today.